best live local music around. You're tuned in for the session show live on F God FM with Jamie Hooks, seven till nine. Hello, and yes, of course, we have the wonderful delayed departure in the band. In the Hello. band, in this, in the studio, even. <laughs> <laughs> you right, guys? All good. Yeah, not bad. Yeah, pretty good, uh, thanks. How, how do you think the, your set went? Oh, no. I hope it went well. <laughs> or it I can it hear it in my headphones, <laughs> Ollie. So. <laughs> I like to be heard, <laughs> and seen, and noticed. <coughs> so, um, my first question is uh, kind of a straightforward one: is is where did the name actually come from? Uh, <laughs> oh, right. Oh, so Charlie. that's kind of my area. I'm Charlie, the guitarist in the band. <laughs> Thanks for coming, kind of Charlie. <laughs> uh, basically, it weren't supposed to stick. It was only something to like kind of initially bring the project together, and okay. then we were like, we'll come up with something better. <coughs> yeah. And it ne- we never did. It so just stuck. If, yeah. If you, if you can believe it, the, the ones we came up with after that were actually worse. <laughs> okay. So yeah, they were, they were really detour, bad. yeah. <laughs> so I said, yeah, what were some of the other ones? Oh, Just <laughs> detour was one. Okay. Daybreak was another, and then that went to be a, uh, a like little morning show. Yeah. On ITV. Early arrival. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone makes that joke. I'm oh, sorry. And stuff to do with airports. It's just Charlie thinking on the spot. Yeah. That's all it is. All right. Never so works out um, well. So yeah, Matt did kind of ask this question, but. Once again, what are your like main ins- inspirations and influences start, within the band? Start on the left. Um, I would say, well, we've we've definitely taken notes from bands like A Day to Remember, um, may, maybe a few like from Hands Like Houses with regards to our earlier stuff, just writing wise. Um, anyone else? Yeah. Kedge, what about you? What was Kedge. your your main influences? Ooh, <laughs> that's a good question. Don't know really. Most probably. I would say maybe you meet six possibly along those sort of lines of music. Yeah, Travis, Travis Barker. Oh, yeah, yeah, obviously. I mean, if you saw him, you understand. <laughs> <laughs> Dodgy haircut. <laughs> haircut for the radio. That's for sure. <laughs> uh, for me, it's um, the biggest band that influenced me is probably Def Havana and You Meet Six, as Steve said. But guitarists wise, uh, I like Mark Tremonti a lot and Steve Vai as well, a solo solo artist. Quite funny. As I've said before, probably You Meet Six, Def Havana. Um, I don't know, it kind of varies. Um, I got into guitar because I liked Metallica, but obviously you can't hear that in our music, but that's where <laughs> I kind of originated from. Yeah, oh, Mike. I think in terms of the band, it's like, uh, as we say, Lower the Atlantis, Def Havana, Mallory Knox, maybe, Don Broco. Um, and for me personally, I think singers like Brent Smith from Shinedown, um, Got Mikey Chapman from Mallory Knox, probably Johnny Craig as well. He's quite a huge influence on me, not not in other ways, but just in his <laughs> vocal prowess. Yeah. Um, next question is kind of targeted towards your EP. So, how long did your current EP, Consequences, a follow-up from Crafted in 2014, take to produce? Ooh, this guy knows his stats probably as well. Since Ooh. 2014, I mean, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. the writing started as soon as we finished recording that other one. Because um, we just didn't. It, it just well, it wasn't. Ref- a good reflection on us. We didn't like the last EP, to be honest, and uh, yeah, I think writing-wise, it probably took about a year, maybe. Yeah. I, I was going to say, like, compared to the last one, do you feel that kind of is it like a new music? Have you kind of found your style in a way, or is it still trying to experiment? And yeah, we definitely upped our game. Like, if you hear between the two, like the comparisons, like it's definitely a different level. But we're um, still. I think we went into recording in sort of February of last year, February, March of last year. And we didn't actually put it out until January. This yeah, year. This year. Yeah, yeah, it was January this year, yeah. <coughs> so it was quite a, it took quite a while to, you know. Fine tune. Yeah, yeah, fine tune. And Probably obviously the recording like August. Pu- pushing, yeah, pushing it out and stuff. I think the reason why it took, I mean, it wasn't a quick process by any means, but um, I think the reason why it took so long is because we had such a great producer. Um, mm-hmm. He was fantastic and it was just so easy to work with him. So, Do you have a, a favourite song that you like to perform live? Ooh. I think, I think we've all got again. our personal favourites, but uh, mine has to be Choices. That's um, same for me as well, Choices. Has to, be. to perform live, I would, prob- I would probably say Choices as well. But as a personal favourite song like that I like to listen to more than the others, I'd say Ocean. Okay. Yeah, my favourites, uh, ocean, um, no, choices, <laughs> it's just the energy in it, it just flows a lot better. I'm going to be different, um, I quite like performing captive, um, slow song. Venue wise, what has been your most favourite venue to date, slash maybe looking forward to playing? It, I reckon it would have to be the Tradesman's Arms in Farnborough, yeah. we played yeah. it literally 
last Friday, last Friday. and um, the energy from everyone that was there, you know, Incredible. it was it was a very um, what's the word compact venue. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it was very confined. Um, yeah. But very you know, sweaty. everyone that was there was having a great time, or at least they didn't we say hope. if they weren't. <laughs> um, <laughs> I, mean, I, I, I love playing that show. It was definitely my favourite today. It's just yeah, seeing it's strangers stuff. like know the lyrics to your songs. It's mm. just a little yeah, bit like especially, weird. especially yeah, when yeah. I can't enunciate yeah. <laughs> anything. So that's it's quite a surprise before. that they know the lyrics. It's, it's yeah. nice. It's nice for us. What, what's next? What can we expect? Ooh. Ooh, um, Wonder, oh, amazing possible tour. <laughs> yeah, um, later this year. And um, I think the next recording project is going to be an album for us. I think that's what we. What yeah, we're talking about we're right now. For. It won't be out anytime soon. We're gonna no, it's still writing, but the writing is going well so far. I yeah. think anyway. Is that all you're going to give away? It's going yeah. well. No. Yeah, that's what. That's Nothing. It. That's what you're I think we will give away that. more, yeah. but we, we don't really know ourselves. I mean, we're, <laughs> yeah. a lot of a lot of our stuff is just taken as it comes. It's spontaneous. Yeah, spontaneous, isn't it? Going into Absolutely. jazz. Just, just jazz. The Facebook page. Yeah, just to find yeah. all the details. <laughs> a blues jazz album coming yeah, out next. Yeah. Why Look, not? Change it up a bit. Yeah. <laughs> just keep an eye on the Facebook page at Delayed Departure and um, I'm sure you'll see everything new that comes up from there. Yeah, yeah. keep them followed on uh, any social media website. Yeah. So I have one last question for you guys. Um, this was actually kind of recommended by Steve, our station manager here, is if you could perform with any musician, dead or alive, oh. who would it be and why? Start from Ollie, go on. Yeah. I, I don't know, that's such a hard question because you want to say someone good but then they'll really show you up. Um, so I would go... I would probably go with a day to remember. Okay. Just because they pull in a massive crowd and then you know any publicity is good publicity. Whether we're, whether we're good or bad, it would be a good show. <laughs> Most people have to say um, Travis Barker. Oh, yeah. It has to be, it has to be, you know. Not the whole band, just him. Yeah, yeah, it's stuff the others. Like, so, just yeah. him on his own. He can take over your role as a drummer, yeah? Yeah. yeah. Watch. Yeah, by, by all means, yes. Mate, you can be Tom Delong. Can you have, like, haircut wars and stuff? Yeah. Not tattoo <laughs> wars, though. Um, for me, I think I'd have to say they to remember as well. I thought about this before, and for the same reason, like, they put in such a massive crowd. I've seen them a few times before, and their shows are, like, are amazing to watch. So I think being on stage with them while they're doing all that would just be ridiculous. Probably have to say hands like houses. Ever since I saw them last year at the joiners, like I, I definitely feel like they're at a level <coughs> where we want to be. And like the energy they put into their sets and the diversity, so they have like great dynamics throughout the sets. It kind of takes you on the journey and I think that's kind of what you want to go on. Mm -hmm. I have I've two that I can't decide over. Quite different. One's uh, architects, like they're just, insane life they're like incredible and the others a bit strange but um michael jackson okay he's absolutely he was an amazing vocalist um <laughs> completely showed me up <laughs> and i realize he's dead but uh yeah he was just phenomenal great well um <laughs> let's get the impressions out of the way guys <laughs> right and prince into the works so. oh. there if we're talking showmanship he Too was soon. up there yeah and um Fair enough. you know God bless his soul. He was a he was an amazing artist. So, uh, you know, shame he's gone. But we could play with him. I reckon we could keep up with him for sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, um, thank you very much, guys, for um, playing and coming for an interview. It's been uh, a pleasure hearing you and also obviously chatting you and having you in the studio. Um, you can check out them on uh, Facebook, Twitter, I believe. Uh, any other Instagram, Instagram as well. Uh, SoundCloud, SoundCloud's one. Uh, You've got a whole album, a whole EP, sorry, on there. I was going to say like I, iTunes as well. ITunes, Go download yeah. everything. Spotify, Spotify, Big Cartel, YouTube, of Bands, Camp, Shazam, we're, we're on everything. Like <laughs> everything. Deezer, even on Deezer. Who's on Deezer now? Right? <laughs> <laughs> us. Or even better, you, you, you could just sorry, come Deezer. and see us in person. I was going to say there's still a MySpace going, but <laughs> <laughs> oh. yeah, come come and see us, and we'll keep Steve on a leash. Right. <laughs> so um, up next is Bro. Green Day with Welcome to Paradise. Yeah, I'm tired of what I'm tired of. I'm so mad. He's just holding you. Yeah, I'm tired of. 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 Yeah, I'